All right, welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is just going to be some of the common sense things and uh, some little tips that really, really are useful, stuff you may not even think of. Um, basically, the tip on this video is never throw out your boxes on your hardware or basically anything you get, like uh, mainly computer stuff, even phones. Save those cases, put them in the attic or something, just have them. Uh, number one reason is uh, if you're going to resell it, it is always nice to put it back in the box. You may get a couple bucks more because you're going to ship it in the original box. The other thing is you have all the information on it, the serial numbers, the model number, all the specs are on the box. So that is uh, one of my main reasons too. It doesn't take up much space. With that in mind, let's hop on in here. You, uh, you get the original wrap, put the motherboard in there, whatever, GPU, CPUs, etc. You can uh, wrap those up for shipping. You also have stuff you probably didn't use when you installed your uh, computer, or your component, phone, whatever. Most of the stuff they give you, like even your phones, they give you little knickknack stickers and stuff. It's kind of cute to have. Uh, just don't throw the boxes right out. Just throw them in the corner, put them in the attic. Uh, you get these, uh, in this case, you get some extra uh, SATA cables for your drives, right? For your motherboard, pretty cool, that's nice. You get some other stuff. That was something, that was a cover plate. I don't know what that was, a cover plate for the lightning. I don't know what that was, but it's there. <laughs> Here's another cover plate. This is if I were to put a motherboard into a hard case uh, tower or something like that. This would be the backing plate for the motherboard with all the inputs, outputs. Pretty cool. Good to have that because, you know, when you need it and you don't have it, it's a pain in the butt to go try to find one, especially these little buggers. These little bolts for uh, basically your motherboard for mounting and stuff, always gold, especially when you need them. You want them, so have them in your box. Uh, this is gold too, your old manual. You want your manual. Never throw out your manual at least. God, if you're going to throw out your motherboard, keep your manual. It shows you all the jumper settings, all the goodies you may need to know if you're doing some serious stuff or you're having or you're having issues with your motherboard. You may have to like clear the CMOS. You know what I mean? Go into the BIOS. Do all that good stuff. Look, it even gives you uh, an audio console stuff. There's the motherboard layout. Tells you what kind of memory you need. What uh, what's the CPU pattern? You know, what is all this stuff? Uh, types of memory. Here's the clear CMOS I mentioned. Reset reset the BIOS jumper. Boom! It just saves you time, and time is valuable, guys. If you want to sit online and try to find all this information, good luck. You can go to the site, sure, but that's going to take you a half hour, hour just to make sure you got the right model number, serial number, OS install, blah, 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 blah. So it's right on the box. It's right in the manual. It's right at your hands. What else did I get? See, I haven't opened this thing in like three years. Oh, I got some kind of MSI True Gaming. Some are PC. We are gaming. Okay. MSI Gaming. Ooh, they, it's just a brochure. Gaming, play hard, stay silent. That's uh, kind of what my wife says. Uh, a bunch of little GPUs I never heard of. Ooh, little headphones. Headphones are always cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Headphones make any experience so much better. What is this? This is the AMD motherboard drivers and utilities. Now, this is good and bad. At least you know you got the base drivers for when you got your motherboard most likely you will have to go online to the msi uh driver download site you will find the latest and you can download that they have instructions on how to flash a memory stick and then update your bios flash it and all that stuff not that hard you just don't want to interrupt any power to your motherboard while you're flashing otherwise and eh, not a good thing uh look at that little decal msi gives you some cool little widgets Look at that. That's a cute little decal you can stick on something. Stick it on my wife's butt. Uh, let's see. Thank you for choosing the MSI product. You're welcome. What else do we got? Ooh. Case standoff keep out zone. Okay. This is a template. All right. That's kind of nice. They give you that. Uh, what else do we got? 
Oh, the old quick installation. Always a pain, man. Every uh, CPU is sometimes different. When you're installing, they sometimes have these little clamp down brackets, which are annoying. You think you're going to break something. Other ones have the screw ones. Uh, you just don't know, but at least they give you a little quick installation guide right here. Yeah, here you go. You got to remove those temporary ones. There's your fan. That's a pain right there. This little thing on the AMDs, you got to eh, you got to clamp that over. You better make sure you have it all adjusted right. You don't want to break that. Oh, there you put the thermal paste on. There's your jumper for the fan. Look at that. I have it all me memorized. And even give you a little QR codes to go to watch a video. Look at that. Make your life easier. Again, the whole point is save the stuff. It just saves you time and looking crap up. Even on anything else, like outboard motors I work on sometimes. I get the serial numbers. Get the serial number. Get on the side of that motor. Get the serial number. Get the model. And write that down. It makes life so much easier in looking stuff up. You're not guessing. Oh, what did the horsepower? What did the year? Uh, like this. What is the model number on this? What a BIOS version? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you should know. But if you don't know, you can always go into the BIOS, unboot up, and look. Look at all this stuff. Look at that. Woo. Yeah, if you're new to it, this is gold. You do it 100 times? Yeah, it's not gold. I mean, you've done it. There's the memory, how to put memory in. You got to make sure you put the memory in the right thing. There's a little notch right there. Boom, you get that lined up. You try to force it in. You're going to break it. So never force anything. All right, what else have we got? I think that is it for today. We got the old box. We're going to put the stuff back. Um, I keep everything. Look, I, well, let's do this in case I look one day and I think it's empty. I'm going to make sure there's stuff in here. You can tell. I know this is so common video. I'm sorry, but again, I thought it was useful because I used to throw everything out. And then that time I needed something, I went, damn it, I threw that out. Even a stupid uh, driver disc. You may want that one day. All right, hold on. There you go. Now it's all buttoned up. I'm going to go put it upstairs with my other motherboards. And uh, yeah, if I ever sell this motherboard, I don't know. It's getting dated now. It's a 570. I don't know what the shelf life on motherboards is, but we'll replace that. All right, so this is the new home of the box right now. I just have stuff stacked. I have boxes in boxes. Those are CPU boxes. Those are power supply boxes. Here is my old 2014 gaming rig, which was a gold mine for uh, GPU mining. This little a ASRock motherboard from 2013, 2014 with a 750. I'm going to make a video on this one, but this is gold. Little Intel. Look at that. Make a video on that puppy. Yeah, when you build stuff yourself, it is good. All right, that's all I got today. Save your boxes. Doesn't take up much space. This is going up in the attic eventually. All right, I'm out.